one of the big stories that we are following today. This is in a week when the Congress has been attacking the Prime Minister because they say he has been following trolls on Twitter, trolls who have been abusive towards and celebrating the murder of the Bangalore-based journalist Gauri Lankesh. A Congress leader, Digvijay Singh, has now retweeted a tweet that criticizes the Prime Minister using extremely abusive language using cuss words. We have uh, Mr. Tom Varakan on the line right now joining us. So let's get a quick reaction from uh, him. Mr. Varakan, we just had another one of your spokespersons, Ajoy Boss, on our show. He was talking to Sunetra Chaudhary, my colleague, and he vociferously pointed out that the Prime Minister follows these, these uh, twi uh, Twitter users who abuse women. He raised that issue about the Prime Minister, and now you have a Congress leader himself doing the same. What would you say in response? Well, uh, two wrongs don't make a right. Is this a wrong? So sh uh, I've said that. I mean, I don't need to spell out anything. Two wrongs don't make a right. I've said that. No, let me not go into the uh, the right and wrong issue. But this is a raging issue. Uh, I see in the social media trolls talking about, you name the leader, Dr. Manmohan Singh, when he was prime minister. He was being abused. I don't want to use those words even. I don't want to give them, uh, you know, credibility by repeating those words. The Prime Minister of India, then Prime Minister of India. Then we had it, had the Congress, white, uh, Congress President abuse. Abuse with words? I mean, so scandalous. <coughs> Vice President. You Mr. Varakan. Uh, we absolutely no, no, no. agree with you. Abuse should not be tolerated in any way. Surely, don't you think we should start with ourselves? And surely, if the Congress is going to use this to attack the Prime Minister for following trolls who tweet badly, surely Congress leaders themselves should be setting an example? I think so. I agree with you. That's what I said. I no, mean, no, you pointed no out that this has happened being, in the we past. Are being, we are not being dismissive of it. And the concerned General Secretary has apologized for it has corrected his position. His intention was not... When he said that, I wonder how many apologies have come from the other side. Have they ever apologized for what they're doing? People are threatened to being assassinated. There is uh, the kind of language that is used. Any apology? Mr. Malvia, the latest, what has he done? False news? Put out against Congress person? One apology? No point here is. But, uh, sir, if has Mr. Digvijay Singh apologized? Yes, he has. He has corrected a new tweet has come into the effect. No, has he, he apologized or has he clarified, given a caveat that this is not his tweet, he's just retweeting? You're walking on thin eyes when you say clarification. No, 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 sir. It's not thin nice. It's very clear. Either correction. you have an apology, you're absolutely sure that you have done something wrong and you regret it, or you say that this is not my tweet. I couldn't help but retweet it. There's a big difference between the two, Mr. Vadakan. You take it as it is. I'm telling you very clearly, his tone and tenor was that of regret. When so you would you regret, accept you, tone I mean, and if tenor expect, if the Prime if Minister, expect, if this were now, the Prime if, Minister? If the Prime Minister Manmohan were to respond Singh, to criticism that he follows uh, tweeters who abuse women and he spoke in tone and tenor, would you accept that? Or would you want a clear-cut apology from the Prime Minister? I couldn't catch you completely. Sir, would you accept tone and terror in return of, instead of an apology from the Prime Minister in this case? Because you're accepting it from uh, Mr. Digvijay Singh. There should be, a, it, it is, should be a two-sided effect, you know. When the Prime Minister of India, Dr. Manmohan Singh, was abused, everybody looked up looked the other side. He was called names. Sure, and nobody, sir, no a precedent channel, has no been channel, set. I repeat, including yours, did not bother to say this is the Prime Minister of India that they're calling this. And this came at the highest level. One did not. Here's at least a regret. Here's a course correction. Yes, uh, I did tweet. Uh, I did not intend to hurt anybody. What more do you want? But has there been any attempt whatsoever to say something to this effect at least? So it is always it easy Not to put the blame on the media. We are the first whipping horse anybody can blame. But again, before you point fingers at the media, surely would, you, would one not look inwards? 
if the Congress is going to do the same, how can you surely criticize the Prime Minister? Prime Minister is Prime Minister. He's not Prime Minister of a party. He's the Prime Minister of India. Any insult to him is an insult to our country, to me, to you, to everybody. Media is not the whipping boy here. Media is a means of communication. We are not shooting the messenger. We are saying, do you take that seriously when the Prime Minister of India, Dr. Manmohan mm. Singh, then was abused profusely. Nobody, I repeat, nobody, it's not just about channels, or even the social media spoke against it. Point like is, you said, the two wrongs don't make a right, this but all right, I'm traffic. happy to hear you say that you're not shooting the media, but you certainly seem to have shot yourself in the foot because the BJP uh, has taken this up I'm and they are going myself. hammer and tongs at Mr. I'm Digvijay sorry. Singh, pointing no, out they, the they, irony they, of the they, Congress they attacking the Prime Minister when their own leader is doing the very same. Why don't we listen to Mr. GVL Rao from the BJP and what he has to say about what Mr. Digvijay Singh has done? And then let me get your reaction. By indulging in uh, vitriolic abuse against the, an elected prime minister who represents the mandate of 130 crore people of this country, the Congress party is, is, actually, uh, uh, is actually committing a great sin. And uh, is this also a part of the Congress party's grand plan to abuse the Indian army, to abuse the India's prime minister, and to somehow somehow give satisfaction to themselves and to the enemies across the border? Has the Congress party's confidence degenerated to such an extent that is indulging in crass behavior, abnormal, obnoxious behavior? Possibly we can't expect anything better from a man with deranged mental abilities like Digvijay Singh, who has called his own party colleague under and a lady colleague and a member of parliament, Tanjmal. I think it is this perverse thinking of uh, Digvijay Singh and the Congress party, which is reflected in these obnoxious comments, and people of the country will punish them for, for continuously indulging in abuse of the Honorable Prime Minister, not just now, I think in the last 10 years.